Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my reading survey 2019 video. This video is a fun video that I do every year. It kind of like wraps up your year of reading with a bunch of different questions and things like that. And I'll link all the previous years that I've done this video down below if you want to see those. Let's get right to it. So the very first question says, how many books did you read this year? And the answer for that right now is 136, but I'm currently in the middle of December as I'm filming this video. I'll have my final answer for you on books read this year in my stats video at the very end of the year. The second question says your most read genre of the whole year. And I actually recently just calculated all of the different genres of books that I read this year. And I have read romance the most this year, which I'm very surprised by because I didn't think I read that much romance this year. And I read one more romance so far than I have thrillers. I've read like 34 romances or something and 33 thrillers. Very neck and neck, but romance is winning so far. The next question says what's the longest and the shortest book that you read this year. The longest book that I read this year is Imaginary Friend by Stephen Shabotsky at 720 pages. And then the shortest book that I read this year is We Should All Be Feminist by Adichie and this one was only 52 pages. The next question says your favorite book that was published in 2019. And for that one I'm gonna have to go with my favorite of the year, The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This book came out in May this year I want to say. The next one says your favorite debut novel that came out in 2019. I feel I feel like everyone in the history of the world is gonna say this this year, but Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston is by far my favorite debut novel that came out this year. I honestly can't believe that this book is a debut, like it's just so freaking crazy. But this is definitely my favorite debut and I will definitely be reading everything that this author comes out with in the future because I just love this book so much. The next question says, what was your favorite book that you read for the first time this year that did not get published this year? And for that one, I'm going to have to go with The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This one actually came out in 2015. This was one of my favorites of this year. I read it for the first time this year. It took me long enough, but I do feel like this book is probably going to go down as one of the best books of all time just because it's so freaking great. So I'm really glad that I read this one this year. The next question is a book that lived up to the hype. And for that one, I'm going to go with The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelitis, especially because I was kind of late to the game reading this one. I think I read it like three or four months after it published. So I was hearing from everyone being like, you have to read The Silent Patient, The Silent Patient, The Silent Patient. And I was like, whoa, okay. So I finally read this book and like, I totally understand the hype now. Like, why the heck did I not read this book sooner? It was so freaking good. One of my favorite thrillers of of the year. And then the next question is a book that did not live up to the hype. For this one I kind of have two. I would say City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert definitely did not live up to the hype in my opinion. This book is super hyped and everybody compares it to Evelyn Hugo, but I would strongly disagree. It's nothing like Evelyn Hugo. And then I would also say Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey is super overhyped. Like everybody loves this book and it's just like very not great in my opinion. It's really not good. All right, the next question says the book that felt like the biggest accomplishment. And for that one, I'm probably going to go with Imaginary Friend just because it was the longest book that I read this year. And I actually did an entire reading vlog for this book and I was able to read it within like 10 days, I think. But I still just feel like this book was a massive accomplishment to finish because the beginning of this book was so easy to read. Like the first 500 pages, I just flew through them. And then the last like 150 pages or so was a real struggle to push myself through because it got really, really bad. This book was just loads of fun to read and it definitely felt like such an accomplishment after I finished this book. The next question is who is your favorite character? that you read about in 2019, which is totally bonkers because how am I supposed to pick one? So I picked a few, I hope you don't mind. One of my favorite characters is Olive from the Unhoneymooners. She's just the best. Another one of my favorite characters this year is Silas from Someday Someday by Emma Scott. Another one of my favorite characters is Gavin from the Bromance Book Club. I adore him so hard. And then another one of my favorite characters is Alex from Red, White, and Royal Blue. So yeah, quite a few favorite characters this year. It was really hard to narrow it down. And then the next question is gonna say your least favorite character to read about in 2019. Travis Ford from Fix Her Up because he's gross and he's an asshole and he's cocky and ugh. The amount of times he calls this girl baby girl just really like 
made me want to vomit, you know? The next question says the most shocking book slash moment of the year. And for that, I'm gonna have to go with I Know Who You Are by Alice Feeney because this book was just crazy. It had one of the like craziest plot twists, I think, that I've ever read, but in like a weird way, like in a not that great way. And I was just so shook after I read this book. God, it just got very strange and shocking and weird. <laughs> the next question says your favorite couple or your OTP from this whole year. And this is another question that's really hard because I did read a lot of really great romances this year, but the obvious one would be to go with my number one book of the year. Ethan and Olive are definitely up there for me, but some other answers would be Alex and Henry from Red, White, and Royal Blue, Silas and Max from Someday Someday, and Gavin and Thea from the Bromance Book Club. <laughs> I love all of them so much. The next question is going to be the best written book that you read in 2019. And I think this one just means like written, like it really makes you think about the story and it has very like beautiful prose. And for that, I'm gonna go with Miracle Creek by Angie Kim and also Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keen. I feel like both of these books are kind of, they're both like literary fiction for sure. This one is more like literary thriller courtroom fiction and then this one's definitely just literary fiction, but I feel like both of these books are so gorgeously written and they just really make you feel a lot for these characters and make you think a lot about the situations that these characters find themselves in. The next question is gonna be the book that you put the most people to read in 2019 and I think you guys can tell me this more than I could tell this but I feel like it's probably The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren because I read this book as an arc in February and so I was pushing this book on everyone the entire year and I had so many people this year tell me in real life and online that they read this book because of me this year which is just so cool and another one that's like a more recent book that I feel like I've pushed a lot of people onto is If Only I Could Tell You by Hannah Beckerman because after I mentioned this book in my reading after 10 video that I did this year, so many people reached out and they were like, I picked up this book because of you and like I never even heard of it but I read it because of you and stuff. And that's always like so heartwarming to like hear people say that. It's like, oh my god, like you trust me? Like, oh my god, thank you. The next question is your favorite book cover of 2019. For that one, I'm easily gonna have to go with The Dreamers by Karen Thompson Walker because look at this cover. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Like I'm a huge sucker for night skies on covers. Like that's definitely my favorite thing. But also the freaking rainbow. Oh my god, like if you look at this cover like up close and in person, it's magical. The next question is going to be your favorite adaptation that you saw and read this year. And mine would have to be Five Feet Apart because I read this book not thinking I would really enjoy it and I was really surprised that I ended up liking this book so much and then I watched the movie and the movie was also like totally cute and really good and it made me feel a lot of things and I was just really impressed by it so this is definitely my favorite adaptation that I've seen this year. I will say though that I have read the book Misery by Stephen King this year but I haven't yet watched the adaptation so for all I know that might be my eventual favorite adaptation, but for now, it's five feet apart. <laughs> the next question says, what book made you cry the most this year? And for that, I kind of have two answers as well. The first one is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This book made me cry a freaking ton, and it was just really, really sad and heartbreaking, and I still think about a lot of the really tragic scenes in this book from time to time. And then the other one is gonna be Birthday by Meredith Russo, because this book also made me bawl my eyes out. I feel like this one was more of like an unexpected thing, though, that it made me cry so much. I also cried a ton at the end of If Only I Could Tell You. Like, the end of this book, I was legit bawling my eyes out. <laughs> the next Next question says what book made you laugh the most this year and that's probably gonna go to my favorite book of the year as well the unhoneymooners had me cracking up their chemistry in this book is just so great and their like banter like the way they pick on each other just had me cracking up the entire time and when I read this book for the second time this year I listened to the audiobook I was cracking up the entire time I was listening to the audiobook like it just makes me so happy the next question says a new favorite author that you discovered in 2019 and that's probably gonna have to go to John Mars because I read The Passengers in August this year and then I read The One in November this year and these are two of my new favorite books of all time and they're both like sci-fi thrillers which is a genre I didn't know I needed in my life and they're both just so good and I want to read everything he's ever written now and I just really love his style like he writes like he should be writing for Black Mirror like I don't know why he's not writing for Black Mirror because his ideas are so Black Mirror-ish. The next question says your guilty pleasure read of 2019 and I'm not really like guilty about any of my favorite reads this year 
But one book that comes to mind to me as a guilty pleasure is Top Secret by Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. This is a male-male romance that follows these two guys who are competing to be fret president of their frat house. It sounds like it's more like frat boy and like ooh than it actually is, but this book is just so cute. It's everything. Uh. The next question says, what was your favorite reread of the year? Throughout this entire year, I've reread eight books so far, I want to say, and I think by far my favorite reread has been Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because I actually read this book for the third time this year and this is my most reread book of all time now and I just love this book so much like I love the physical book I love the audiobook I relate to Kath so much and so I feel like anytime I reread this book I just feel like completely understood and like right at home with these characters and this book just means a whole lot to me I actually made a whole video this year called why I love fangirl <laughs> because I felt like I needed to express to you why this book is so important to me and then the next question is gonna be what is the best non-fiction book that you read this year for me that's gonna be a tie between three books that I really really enjoyed I loved the book Know My Name by Chanel Miller and I think that that one is incredibly important and everyone should read this one and then I also really loved On Writing by Stephen King because as an aspiring writer myself, I just really, really loved this book and I loved his advice and Stephen King is just so cool. And then the third one is Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered because this book was just so funny. This actually might have been like the funniest book that I read this year because these girls are both comedians and they're just so freaking entertaining. And this is probably one of the only nonfiction books that I would ever reread. Like I just really loved it. All right, and the last question says, were you happy with your reading year? The answer to that would be absolutely because in 2019, I have read more books than I have read in any other year before that. I'm currently at 136 books right now, which is like significantly higher than any year before. I think the closest I've gotten to this much is 112 books in a year. So I am just like on a roll this year. And I don't think there was a single month in this whole year that I read less than 10 books. So I'm very happy with my reading this year. I discovered some really incredible books this year. I think this year has been the longest that I've ever gone without a really bad reading slump. I mean like fingers crossed, knock on wood, but I haven't had a really bad reading slump in a long time. Like I've been able to get myself out of it pretty quickly this year, which is nice. <laughs> so that was the reading survey 2019 video thing. What were some of your favorite characters that you read about this year? What was your favorite couple? What was the best written book that you read this year? Who was like a new favorite author that you discovered this year that you really love? Please let me know your thoughts and let me know what you think about any of the books that I mentioned in this video. Tomorrow I have a video going up that I'm very very excited about. It's kind of like my 2019 vlogs compilation video. So really really looking forward to that and thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!